West Coast Swing was not called West Coast Swing until the 1960s. Before then, it was known as Western Swing, and before that, people called it Jitterbug, which is a term used to describe various types of swing dancing in the 1930s and 40s. According to Wikipedia, the term West Coast Swing appeared for the first time around 1961 in a dance book entitled Social Dance by Beverly H. Yarrington and Tracy A. Outland. And later, the ballroom dancer Skippy Blair used it in an ad for a dance event in 1962. But it wasn't until the mid-1960s when everyone in the dance world recognized and used the term West Coast Swing to talk about this awesome style of dancing. Going back to the name Western Swing, Historian Forrest Outman points out that around 1949, the Arthur Mary Dance Academy began using this term in their dance manual to make a distinction between swing dancing in the western United States versus swing dancing in the east. According to Outman, the reason for changing the term western swing into west coast swing was to avoid confusion with another dance called country western swing which also gained popularity in the 1940s and 50s, but was danced to country music and not swing. In the 1940s, swing music began its very slow decline to make room for new and more popular dance styles like rock and roll. However, the flame ignited by the West Coast dancers was brighter than ever. And like many other dances, West Coast Swing left its original home in California to travel to new places. Dance instructor Rich Archer points out that some of the biggest spokesmen and ambassadors of West Coast Swing in the mid-1940s were U.S. soldiers who learned to dance in California and returned home after World War II. This is how it made it to Texas, creating a new regional style of swing dancing called Texas Whip which is one of the biggest influences in today's West Coast Swing. Another big influence is a regional style of swing dancing called Shag, or Carolina Shag, created in the beaches of North and South Carolina, also in the 1940s. Writer and historian Bo Bryan explains that the Shag was created in the Carolinas and evolved not from West Coast Swing, but from another swing dance instead the Carolina Jitterbug. However, we can clearly see a few elements from the shag used in today's West Coast, which allows us to say that the two are distant relatives who met probably in the 1940s and 50s and blended styles. Historian Forrest Outman explains that there are two more recent influences in today's West Coast Swing that were not created in California, but have influenced the dance and are worth mentioning. The first one is The Hustle, a dance with no turns created by Puerto Rican teenagers in New York around 1972. The Hustle evolved into other styles and subgenres that included turns, and it took many elements from the disco movement, which was very dominant in the 1970s. West Coast swing dancers incorporated some of these elements into their own style of dancing, including the music. The second one is Zouk. Zouk is a style of upbeat dance music from the French Antilles. It was created in the 1980s, and its main characteristic is the use of electronic synthesizers. According to Outman, renowned West Coast Swing champions Jordan and Tatiana from Los Angeles have incorporated some of the Zouk elements into their routines, including some beautiful, but also very complicated rotations and shapes. Forrest Outman explains that all this fusion and blending of elements is a vital part of dancing and its evolution. When dancers see something they like, they want to learn it and use it right away. Coming up with new ways of dancing and moving styles forward.